Here's something that no one tells you that will happen when you switch from gut-driven decisions, making decisions from your gut, to data-driven decisions. It will be painful. And it will be painful for two reasons. The first reason is that you will start to see that the data that you need to have might not necessarily be there or that it's not up to date. It's not easily accessible. And maybe that you have it, but you just don't know how to read it. But the second reason why this will be painful is because it will change the culture of your business. Suddenly you're going to see all the good, the bad, and the ugly. And there can be a lot of ugly. You're going to see resources that have been wasted. You're going to see things that need changing and that needed changing years ago. And you're going to see things that have been affecting your profitability that you might not have even been aware of up to this point. And of course, you will want to fix these things. Naturally, you will want to change them. You will want to make things better. And this will challenge you. And it won't challenge just you, but it will also challenge your employees. You might hear a lot of well, we've always done it this way, or we have been good up until now. Why do we need to change that? And you might get to experience a lot of pushback from the people that you currently have in your business. And how much pushback you're going to receive really depends on your employees. How much are they struggling with change? That's why change management is such an important topic when it comes to making that switch to data-driven decision-making. You have to make sure that you're preparing not just yourself, but also your employees in this new way of working with you, in this new way of working in your business. Otherwise, you might lose a lot of good people just because that change management hasn't been done the right way. So you might think, okay, I get it. Uh, there's going to be painful times. I have to make sure that I have change management happen. I know this is going to, this is going to happen in my business. What do I do now? My best advice to you, and I have actually worked with people who do that is to find someone who does change management, like a change management, uh, consultant, change management, coach, a leadership consultant, someone to help you navigate these new waters because, as I've said, if you do not have that background and that expertise in change management, you might get into situations that are just going to be really, really painful. So why struggle like that on your own? Find someone that's going to help you with change management. Also, if you're interested in the location behind me, stick around for the next couple of seconds because I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. This has been another episode of Newcastle Finance, financial tidbits from old castles. This video was filmed in Lendava Castle in the eastern part of Slovenia. Lendava Castle started life as a medieval fortress in the 12th century. Owned by noble families, the castle went through many remarkable transformations over time. Today, it's a stunning showcase of Baroque architecture with its almost oriental looking roof. It is surrounded by wine growing hills and offers breathtaking views of the town of Lendava near Slovenia's border with Hungary. In the castle, you can immerse yourself in the art at the Lendeva Gallery and Museum. It features primitive exhibitions of archaeology, history, and ethnology, along with outstanding temporary exhibits of works by Warhol, Picasso, Rembrandt, Chagall, and many other contemporary global artists. And every year, the castle hosts the celebrated Lendeva Fine Arts Colony, attracting artists worldwide.